Okay, hello everyone. My name is Ryan Cronenberg. I'm one of the original co-founders of A Cloud Guru. We're now part of the Pluralsight family. And today what we're gonna do is we're going to talk about the AWS certifications for 2024. So what we're gonna talk about is so the four different types of certifications. And we're gonna mention each one individually and who it's for. Then we're gonna talk about some certifications that are being retired and you probably don't wanna cover those off. And then we'll go on to the four steps of getting certified. And then after this video, you can go ahead and watch any of the certification videos that interest you. So we're gonna make a different video on each certification. So let's start with the four different types of certifications. So we've got our foundational certifications, and this consists of AWS Cloud Practitioner. And this is basically an entry level exam for anyone who wants to get into cloud, and you don't need any technical experience at all to do this certification. So it'd be great if you're working in marketing and you're joining a cloud company and you wanna know what all the buzzwords and the lingo means, you go ahead and do the certified cloud practitioner. So above the foundationals, we then have our associates and our associates consist of four different certifications. So we've got data engineer associate, and this is for our data engineers and how to use AWS resources to do great data engineering. We then have AWS solutions architect associate, this is for people who want to start building infrastructure on AWS and need to know about all the different services. We then have developer associate. This is obviously for our developers and the best way to deploy code to the AWS infrastructure. We then have the SysOps administrator associate exam. And this is for people who might do um, admin on Linux servers or Windows servers. It basically teaches you how to best do that using AWS infrastructure. So we then have our professional level exams. So this consists of AWS AWS Solutions Architect Professional, which is for professional architects of wanting to use the AWS infrastructure. It is one of the hardest exams to do. And then we have DevOps Professional, and this is for our DevOps engineers. Now for the professional level exams, you can go sit them. You don't need to have passed any of the associate uh, qualifications. However, Amazon do recommend that you have at least two years experience. And then finally, we have our specialty exams. So there's six exams in the specialty, but three are being retired. We've got security specialty. These are for our security professionals. We then have machine learning. So this is for anyone doing AI and ML on AWS. We then have advanced networking, and that's for our network engineers who wanna learn how to deep dive into the AWS infrastructure and do things like VPCs and all kinds of transitive pairing, etc. And then we have the three that are being retired. So we've got data analytics on AWS, we've got SAP on AWS, and we've got the database specialty on AWS. But those three are being retired in the next couple of months, so we won't cover them off in this series. So the first thing you should always do when you're about to go and uh, study for an AWS certification is you go through the four steps, and we're going to go have a look at them now. So to find the four steps for getting certified with AWS, you can go to the AWS certification landing page and you can scroll down and here we can see our four different levels of certification. So our foundational, our associate, our professional and our specialty. And you can just click on uh, any of these and scroll down and you'll be able to see the four steps here. So step one is getting to know the exam and exam style questions. And the most important thing I would always do is read the exam blueprint and each AWS certification has its own exam blueprint. And essentially it will break down uh, what you need to learn into different domains. And so by studying the exam blueprint, you basically have a blueprint of what it is you need to know in order to pass the exams. Step two is to learn about the exam topics. Now, we have a great uh, platform at Pluralsight where you can learn, uh, obviously, about every single exam topic. We also can help you prepare for your exam, which is step three. So we have our own quiz questions, practice exams. We also have hands-on labs, so you can get uh, hands-on experience with AWS. And you don't have to worry about signing up and creating your own AWS account, which can be costly if you forget to turn resources off we handle all of that for you. And then step four is to assess your exam readiness. So AWS have their own um, basically official practice exams that you can go ahead and try out. And so we have exam simulators on the Pluralsight website. I highly recommend checking them out because they basically break down your results based on the different domains, uh, depending on which exam that you're going to do. We're going to have a different video on each certification. So thank you everyone for watching. Keep being awesome, everyone.